guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. It's been a minute since I've sat down and filmed because I was actually away in Maine for a week. It was a very spontaneous trip. It was for a sad occasion. I did have a family member pass away, but it was nice to see everybody and I was able to be home for Thanksgiving. So I loved seeing everybody, but of course it was a solemn occasion. But I just got back home and I wanted to sit down and film a video for you guys and I have a lot of things coming up within the next month. So I'm going to be giving you a haul video, but also kind of giving giving you an idea of what's happening within the next 24 days. We are just getting close to Christmas time, which is so weird to me. Now for the past, I don't know, 15 years, I've worked in retail. So holidays usually started around August. You know, that's when you start planning. That's when you start knowing all the ins and outs of what's coming up for the season. And so it's so weird to not be in retail this year because the season is so short. So I have a bunch of advent calendars here. I have a bunch of other puzzles that just arrived while I was away. So I'm just going to show you everything and then I will give you an update of what you can expect within the next 24 days. The first two things I have are from Piecework. Now this was the final brand of my original wish list. I don't think I got them on sale. I think I just purchased them because I wanted to just finish up that wish list and then I'll give you like a rundown of what I thought of the brands that I really wanted. Um, but I did bring this one along with me because it arrived like right before my trip and then this one stayed behind and I just been having it on the shelf. So the little guy here is just a 70 piece puzzle. It's from, again, Piecework and the artist is, let me see, Emily Sims. Now this is just a five by seven puzzle. You guys know I love micro or smaller puzzles. Now the 70 pieces took me about five minutes to do, so it was a very quick puzzle, but it was fun and it was really nice quality. Uh, this is the Capricorn one of their astrology line. They have all 12, which is pretty cool, and I really enjoyed it. I really like the quality, so it's exciting to have a larger one for them, so that way I can do it during my winter break. That's probably when I'll be able to do this puzzle. But this is the 500 piece out of office puzzle, and the image is really, oh, it's bigger on the other side. <laughs> the thing that I loved about piece for images is that they're very quirky still life collage puzzles. So this one I got is called Out of Office and if you look at it it's just weird you know it looks like you're on a tropical vacation with these like pineapple things and we have a pineapple cake and we have this weird little entree or appetizer and it's just really quirky and fun and interesting and like there's a lot of things happening to it it's only 500 pieces so i'm sure it's not gonna be super difficult but they have a ton of different versions of this style of puzzles and then with the quality of this one i'm hoping it's very similar to this one because i really liked the quality of this so those are ones that i did purchase the next two puzzles that I have, I did get gifted to me by Big Potato Games. Now, I have heard of the brand before they reached out to me as a game brand. They have very interesting games, they're quirky again, and they just launched their first puzzle collection, so they offered to send it to me. I have to say, now you guys know I'm in school for marketing, that's what I do for my job, and their branding is amazing like it's so fun the box that it arrived in now, i don't know if it's different because i got it as a gift from them but the box that arrived in was like a gradient puzzle style box i'll put a picture here i was very impressed with the brand i also did take a quick peek inside and i'll show you the puzzles in a minute but i took a quick peek inside and what i loved inside you have a paper bag and it actually says like plastic free and everything about them is trying to be a little bit more sustainable which is really cool now the collection that they are starting with are collage style almost like so you can find puzzles they have a lot of different like hidden things that you can find in there little little extra quests and such that you can do so we have day at the festival and then we have night at the movies both look super fun Honestly, I think Night of the Movies might be the one I will do the first just because I like the color story and it looks just really quirky. Again, these are definitely quirky puzzles and I'll leave their website down below if you're curious, if you're a game person like I am as well. Definitely the time of year to get some board games. Hi! Hello! Um, the final puzzle that I that is not an advent calendar is one that I did purchase at Hobby Lobby around this time of year. All of their Christmas stuff is 50% off and that includes their Christmas puzzles. So I did get one from Cobble Hill. I've seen this one around quite a while, um, but I ended up getting it half off for $8.50. So it was a good deal and in general I really like Cobble Hill 
puzzle pieces. They're interesting shapes. I will say it's on the harder end because of the intricate piece shapes. I have a couple also up here that I've done before, but this is a thousand pieces and it's called Ugly Christmas Sweater. And it is just sugar cookies that are ugly Christmas sweaters. So I thought that would be really fun to do during the holiday season. And I also have a lot of other Christmas puzzles that I haven't done yet, so I really didn't need another, but I just really love the quality of this brand. And I may pick up like one or two more while the season is here, so that way I can have some more in my collection, I guess. But I just like their puzzle quality, and I feel like whenever I think of Cobble Hill, I think of their Christmas puzzles. So I'm excited for that one. Let's move on to the advent calendars. Now for the past few years, I've been really into advent calendars. So back in 2018, we lived in Mississippi and I'm, we didn't know that we were moving so quickly because we were doing it for Dave's work and we ended up getting a body shop advent calendar that I brought with me on our road trip back to California. So that was like the spark of like loving advent calendars. And over the past few years, I've gotten one or two. Last year, Dave ended up making me one with my eyeshadows because I was at work with Sephora. So he did that and then I've also bought some. This year, I discovered the puzzling advent calendars and oh my goodness, I was sucked right in and I instantly thought that I would do 24 days of advent calendars on my channel. Now, I will include other content, so it's not just strictly going to be advent calendars for the next 24 days. So I do plan on posting at least a weekly regular puzzle video that is not Christmas related in case you don't celebrate, but I was so excited to have all these different options for Christmas advent calendars. So I'm going to be posting one every single day until Christmas Eve. The first one that I have here is from the brand Chronicle Books. This is called 12 Days of Catmas. How fitting. This is a 12 day puzzle. <clears throat> this is a 12 day advent calendar and I have done one mini puzzle from them before and I didn't have the best experience but I am really excited about this. Now I'll open it up so you guys can see because I don't even know how they set theirs up like if it's mini boxes or if it's a punch out situation and oh oh this is different than I was expecting. So let's see 12 puzzles in one box but I was expecting them to be in individual boxes and they're not. All the pieces are together. So I don't know how that will work. Um, so I'll get back to you on that one, but we may save that one for another day. The next two I have are from Gallison. They're two different artists though. They're both 12 day Christmas calendars and they are relatively affordable. I got them both on Amazon. So again, both 12 day advent calendars. Let me show you what they look like and then I'll open up the box so you can see. So this one is from Michael Storings and it is their 12 Days of Christmas, which looks very classic, you know, very like, looks very country and sweet and lots of snow. Um, but let me open this guy up to see how this one is. So this one, when you open it, is an individual bag. So they're not all together like this one, but they're at least like separated. There's no number on them or anything. You just like pull one out and you get a little bag of puzzle pieces. So I don't mind that, but you do have to have like little baggies if you want to use it again in the future. So that way all the puzzle pieces can be separate. I also kind of wish that this had like a closure that you can like keep secure. So that way, if you are using it for years to come, then you have a nice secure box, but I will make it work so I can use it more than once, but there's the second one. I'm guessing this one is a very similar style, but this is again from Gallison, and this is the Merry and Bright puzzle calendar. This one's definitely more bright. You know, it's very more cartoonish, very bright, very festive. This one, I'm most, ex I'm really excited about this one for the images, and I'll just open it up as well, but I'm pretty sure it's very similar, if not identical, to the other one. Same exact thing that they are just in little baggies here. And they're not numbered or anything, so you can do whichever one you want on whichever day. And there's that one. Now this next one I have is from Disney. And I got this one at my Target. Now my Target has a Disney store inside. So I believe this is actually like Disney and not just like a brand that does Disney. Um, so I'm not sure of the actual puzzle brand that's doing this, but I got this one and it is 24 puzzles in one box, 
which is so fun. It's a thousand pieces total, so divide that up between 24 and that's how many pieces per puzzle there are. But let me just open this one up. This one is really big and hefty. It is pretty lightweight though, so not sure of the piece quality, but it looks so fun. All right, so inside, let's just take a peek. I think I have all the tape off. It opens up like this. Oh my gosh, look how fun. So these are a punch out. So you pop open these and there's 24 of them and they're all Disney related or Mickey, Minnie and Friends. And it says holidays are happier together. And this is so much fun. I am so excited for this one. Now this one again, you can't really reuse in the same condition than when you purchased it. So you do again need to have little baggies if you wanna use them throughout the years, but this one looks so much fun and I cannot wait. For Christmas, Dave surprised me with this one here. It is expensive, but I can tell you right off the bat, the quality is a thousand times better, at least for the presentation and what you're getting. So this is the New York Puzzle Company Advent Calendar, which I'm sure you've seen all around. I'm just gonna take the plastic off. Now this is pricey like $200 pricey, but again, I feel like this is something that's like a keepsake, something you can use for years, at least from what I saw in pictures. But in general, it's like super heavy and weighty, and it comes in this beautiful box with a Christmas tree, and it's just red, and it's from New York Puzzle Company, and it does have 24 puzzles for the whole holiday season. So I'm excited. Each puzzle is 100 pieces. They are seven by nine inches and wow they look really nice so when you open it up we have all of these puzzle boxes so unlike everything else where you're either having a mixed box or you have like punch outs this is actual individual puzzle boxes with the image on the box and it just looks so nice you know it's a nice presentation you can use this over and over for years if you just so I like that you can use this more than once, you know, and have it in pretty much the same exact condition than when you first got it. So I am so excited to have this one. And then I do have one other advent calendar that is coming, it arrives tomorrow. And that one is wine. So if you guys are new here, I love wine. I live in wine country. And so Dave got me another advent calendar, which is 24 days of wine. And we will split it so I'm not gonna have like a glass of wine every single day. So my plan for the next 24 days is to sit down, have a glass of wine from my wine advent calendar, do one of both the Mickey Mouse calendars and the New York Puzzle Company calendars, and then alternate days on these two Gallison ones. So I will do maybe even will be this guy here and then odds will be this guy here. So you can see I do three mini puzzles each day for the next 24 days and have wine. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy since all the pieces are mixed together. I think this will be its own separate video. Maybe this will be Christmas day. Um, but that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I was all over the place because I'm not used to filming right now. Um, but thank you so much. Stay tuned for uh, probably tomorrow or later today when the first advent video goes up. I haven't filmed yet. I'm gonna be filming them and then editing them and then posting them all on the same day. So wish me luck. All right, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.